Hello everyone and welcome back to the final part of this week's uh, Copenhagen Dreaming. We have um, a combat situation about to happen. <laughs> and, um, well, let's just say that our intrepid heroes outnumber the bad guys quite badly, but the bad guys have more experience. Um, quite literally. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, but um, we've well, set it up. Oh, sorry. Yes, well, quantity over quality worked for the Americans during World War II. It should work for us here somehow. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Burn. Um, we have... Uh, we, we declare in reverse order as we always do. So, uh, Ganesha, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, Ganesha would like to uh, take the effort to use a healing reed on Cecil and try and stabilize her. Right. So, we've entered that. Sir, what do you want to do? Sir gets ready by splitting up his dice pool. All right. And what does he want and, to to do with his split dice pool? Well, he's using the gifts he has, which are you know, not something you actually have to activate. They're just there. Yeah, they're just there, indeed. And you can only use one he... power per turn, though. That's the thing. Yeah, that's why he's splitting it up. Yeah. One is for a bite. The other is for his armor. Ah, clever. Okay. So I'm assuming we start with the armor, mm -hmm. and then the bite will happen as, um, yeah. Uh, Charlie, what do you want to do? I think it gets very obvious that Sir's teeth are more than just teeth, they're business. Yep. Charlie will uh, throw the light bulb. Yep. Sonny? Sonny will pick up Miss 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 Battered Meat. Yes. The one who turned even redder than she usually. Yep. Agnes, <laughs> what do you want to do? Um go to grab a knife. Right. No problem. Crimson. Ha ha ha. He wants to use a power. Shasman. Uh, uh, hmm. Because I don't have that anything in terms of armor, so I'm not exactly the most. I'm not best at frontlining, but I could support someone else if someone else is going to attack. Either um, attack either. Uh, Alice or Crimson. Yeah, do you know what? I think I'm going to start to take up a sort of defensive position and try and you know prevent prevent uh, either the two red caps from getting towards um, Sunny. Okay, so you're trying to basically you will be there to parry any attack against Sunny. That's the plan. Yes. All right. So you can pick up Cecil without problem. That's the idea. Yep. August, what do you want to do? Uh, the table is that, uh... That's uh, within bolted. easy reach. Yeah, but is it bolted to the floor? Uh, the table is bolted to the floor, yes. Oh, uh, damn it. Um, well, I think I'll just, um... I'll just start throwing random meat hooks and things <laughs> after Bloody Alice. Whatever I can find on, on the table. You just start throwing things at them. Yep, you can you can do an attack like that, Jonas. I want to uh, let lose an arrow at Crimson. Right, and finally, Bloody Alice also wants to use the power. I don't like them when they use powers. Make them stop. Oh. Um. Alice uh, starts in that case, and what she does is she she burns a point of um, a point of glamour in order what? to manifest a power, <coughs> and then she uses the power called Holly Strike. Oh, that hurts. Yep. It really does. 
whatever that is. But I'm pretty sure I don't like it. It is, a, as it says, a blast of eldritch power. I don't like it. Can't she do something else? <laughs> no, just, just, just accept it. And let's see who she actually hits. Or goes for. Yes. I think... I'm guessing one of the she. Yes. She <laughs> will go for one of the she because, you know, she. Um, mm. Let's see. Uh, She'll get brownie points with the big ogre if she does. This. Precisely. So odds, she goes for Jonas. And evens, she goes for um, for August. Don't go for the pretty one. That was Jonas. <laughs> I said, don't go for the pretty one. Well, he is the one currently holding a bow, as far as she's concerned. You know, his his umbrella bow thing. So uh, it makes sense in a, in a certain way that she chooses to go for him. Yeah. Yes. Plus, of course, it's a Dougal bow. That must that must bring back Indeed. memories. And so... the description of this thing, I'll I'll read it out in a moment when I've rolled. It's the maximum striking range of yeah, inflicts. There you go. That is three health levels of lethal damage. Yes. You to soak? Nope, you can't soak lethal without armor. Oh. And I thought you could soak anything but aquavated. Nope, that's only uh, werewolves who can do that. And this yeah. is real, right? Yeah, this is real. She used it to manifest it, so yeah. Yes, exactly. And the thing is, what you hear or see is that she basically... Um, she throws her hands out in front of herself with both hands um, sort of... You know, she puts her arms together and uses both hands almost to form like a, a maw or a, a mouth. Exactly like that. Yeah, Rasmus was demonstrating uh, next to me. And that's exactly what she does. And out from her arms shoots an image of the lady. Uh. Yeah. And her fiery breath just strikes you. It's not actually fire, but that's what it looks like. And it just smashes into um, into uh, to Jonas. Yeah, I'm at hurt now. Yeah. So it is in fact Jonas's turn. Right. Yeah, well, you I'll... remember you don't get the minuses until next turn. Oh, oh well, that's just nice. <coughs> well, I'm gonna shoot at. Um, You're gonna shoot crimson. Yes, let's see if I can hit. Let's see, in fact, if you can hit. Is that, that, that should be yes, it, right? That is a, a two points, uh, which means that you add one uh, damage. Right. How much damage does a chimerical longbow do? Uh... do? Let me just check that in a in a hurry. We should obviously have looked that up. <laughs> yes, I'll be ready to write it down. Oh, that is so typical of us. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, this is a service announcement. I am an idiot. <laughs> it's a good thing I haven't hit yet. This is, I mean... Um... Oh, then we would have already figured it out. <coughs> Weapons. Here we go. Let's have a look. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Bows. And this is a long bow. It's got a d that has. Actually, no. It's also a special long bow. This is a she bow. Ooh, that sounds good. It is. It is damage six. Dun 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 dun! So you so, do. So that's seven points of damage. Wow, nice. Bows are. Ranged, ranged weapons are potentially very nasty. 
I mean, Doesn't he roll that? Nope. That's what it does. Oh, right. It's it's a firearm thing. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. You, so, you he rolls to, so he rolls to... Um, to soak that. Oh, he has armor, asshole. Not yet, has he? Oh yeah, he does. He does. Well, he only removes three of them. Yep. Nice hit. Yeah. yeah. That was a good hit. <coughs> he, um... Eight d ten on soaking. Oh my fucking god! Yep. I don't want to tussle with him anymore. Why did I do that last time? Who let me do that last time? I tried to stop you. That's that's that's, that's true. That's, that's, yeah. So basically, you see how your your um your arrow flies at him, and at the last moment, his meat armor uh, appears again. But you punch through a particularly large and juicy steak and into him. <laughs> I think Jonas glares at him. I will take note that some damage has been done. Only so. That's actually a pretty hard blow. Yeah, it's seven and nasty. took three off, so that's what four. Yeah. Five, I think. No, four. Three min oh. minus seven. Yeah. Oh, it's seven. I thought you did. I thought you had eight points. Sorry, I misheard. I was I was being optimistic. Yeah, ever the optimist. Yes. Are you guys still convinced we're going to be able to run away from this? Here we go. And if, if Charlie hits with the light bulb, yeah. Okay. August, you were throwing a weapon at Alice. Yeah, big fat knife. Big fat knife. Let's see. Do you have anything to throw w with? You have your obviously you have uh, dexterity. Do you have anything else? Yeah, I don't know what what to use for throwing. Firearm. It's a firearm. Uh, Isn't actually, it? actually, uh, a firearm is a specific. You know that that's for using a gun. Uh, but what I do would you say, then use with a bow? I uh, uh, archery. Actually. It's a it's a secondary skill. I'd say you use um, half your uh, athletics if you have any. Round mm -hmm. it up. Yeah, but that, that's fine. I, I like that. <coughs> uh, so, to hit, I need... Dex and that. Dex and, and that, and then you have a difficulty of six to hit. Dang. Nice! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy cow! Holy shit! Oh man! Okay. Uh, now the thing is not that powerful. It's it's a thrown weapon which isn't balanced for it, but that is still an impressive seven points of damage to to her that she needs to soak. Slum. Get a meat cleaver to the face, bitch. Yep. Oh, it's too bad you didn't hit the ugly guy and not the ugly girl. We could have taken one down, maybe. That's well, a good roll. That she, is. She takes... I'm almost sad to do this, but she takes six, six points of those. Um, so you do manage to scratch <laughs> her with it, but no. not much more, unfortunately, because I roll really well. What you see... <laughs> what you see is that the knife slams into her, but is mostly deflected away as her skin turns scaly. Hmm. Hmm. Clearly she's been studying under someone. Uh, yeah. No shit! I wonder who! Uh, Jasmine, you wanted to use your ability or your your uh, you wanted to parry. Do you still want to do that, or do you want to change your your um, your action? You can use a, a willpower point and maybe attack them if that's what you want. Uh, again, they're not engaged in melee with anyone else, and I don't have any form of armor. So if, no, if no, it's, it's it's I'm I'm just I'm I'm simply asking. I was just thinking, if I get if I go in by myself into melee and they get a hit on me, it's it's gonna hurt. Yeah. 
So... But it's hurting at a distance as well, as you can tell from what she just did to uh, to um, mm. uh, to, uh, to Jonas. Uh, all right, fine. In that case, yeah, I'd like to change my action to attempt a melee attack on Crimson, seeing as he's yeah. the one that's the most wounded. Yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm, I'm rolling again. <laughs> You're rolling uh, melee, melee plus, plus dex. dex, yes. Melee plus dex. Uh, well, that's four dice, so it's not terrible. No, and, and you it doesn't. Using... You're using a longsword. Using a chimerical is... longsword. Which is rather impressive. It's because... also from the Dougal thing. Yeah. Yes, because a. Oh, and I made a mistake before, by the way. Oh, right. No, I didn't. No, sorry, I didn't. My bad. Um, right. But we need to check what damage there is on a longsword. Okay, so yes. I'm just going to roll these. A longsword roll... is strength plus two. Okay. So you roll two hits. <laughs> yeah. Not I that, bad. I think that hits. Uh, yeah, and then it's your strength that's, plus two. That's three, and you get two extra. Because, you know, you, you take the first uh, success away and any successive uh, successes, that sounds weird, successive successes, uh, gives you yes. uh, extra damage. So that's two extra damage, plus two more for the sword, plus your strength. And you roll that. Okay, so, so it's two... Okay, so let me just think it's... <coughs> slash R, 2d10, plus four. Isn't it uh, just d10s? Yeah. yeah, all of it is D10, so Everything it's D10. Right. Yeah. In that case, it's 60-10. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's terrible. That was not very fortunate. On the upside, it's one damage. No, no, it's, yeah, it's, no, no, wait a second here. One doesn't subtract. Yeah, but he's still going to soak. That depends on the sword. Remember, it was a House Dougal sword. Yes, uh, you, do, soak you, you soak it, but you also realize that his armor is being worn away. So you chop some of his armor off. Okay. He's only rolling Maybe. seven dice this time, for example, and next time he's probably only going to roll six. Oh, that's why he also decreased after I actually got a hit in. Yes. We, we're we beating the meat off of it. Yes, you are. Oh, I can't believe you said that. And, and he ate some of it last time to make a bunk. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, and that was that was Jasmine. So it's Crimson's turn, and he wants to use a power. And he <laughs> he uh, laughs maniacally at all of you, and and um, yeah, you all risk combusting. What? You all Come risk on. bursting Busting. into yeah. You all risk bursting into flame because what Aww. he does, what he does is he um, uh, he uh, grabs into you know into a pocket, pulls out a one of those you know uh, cheap uh, cheap cigarette lighters that you can buy the plastic ones. <clears throat> and he he uh, and he you know as he pulls it out of his his pocket he crushes it in his hand oh, and uh, as a as a as a bunk and then he tries to put fire to all of you. I'm guessing we're rolling willpower. Uh, you will in a moment if you catch fire. That's I mean let's see if he succeeds. Oh, fail it, fail it. <laughs> I just need to find it. Damn it. I went the wrong way. <laughs> that happens a lot. We we do that all of us. Here we go. Yeah. We're still getting used to the entire thing. Yes. That was the right way. There we <laughs> go. There it is. And <laughs> right. 
for the next two turns, you are all burning. That's one How? aggravated damage per round. He's done this before to me. Yes. You don't time... even get a saving throw to it. This no, time he does it thing. to uh, that. This time he does it to everyone in the group. Oh. Fuck you, Crimson. Crimson. Just fuck you. So we're at. You mm. take the first uh, point of damage now, and you take the next point of damage next turn on his turn. Okay, so that's the X, right? Yes. Yes. And and... Needle is the dash. And. Let's see, that was Crimson. Agnes, you wanted to get yourself a knife. Yeah. You can easily get a knife. You could even manage to attack this round if you want to. Please do. Uh, yeah. Then Agnes has quite a lot in dexterity and sweetwise and all that kind of... Has she got any kind of melee? Yeah. Mm, no. Okay, you can still roll your dexterity on its own. Yeah. To see if you so can hit. Be... Which one of them do you want to, to attack? Well, obviously, as Crimson is actually hittable. Yes. Because his armor sort of chops away. Yes. And that's who she's going for. Yep, yeah, sure. So, just need to figure out the whole dice thing again. And we have a knife here. And that is a strength mm -hmm. plus one weapon. Okay, so how does the roll work? You roll... Dexterity uh, plus... You just roll dexterity first, on its own. Alright, and that's... A then d10 roll. Yes. There you go. Ooh, nice! You get two successes. Yeah. That means Sweet. that you get one more die to your, your uh, damage roll. So you roll your strength, plus one for the knife, plus one for the extra success on your, um, on, on your two-hit roll. So, strength plus two and all. You roll that. There. Oh, nice! Nice. Yeah! Woo. Three. Good. And he... Oh, yeah, he soaks all of them, but you chop away at his, uh, at his armor, so another piece comes away. Nice. So yucky. Yes. Yeah, sooner, or later, sooner or later, he'll run out of meat. Yes. He will run out of meat eventually. Yes. Um, hopefully, we're not around that long. And no, <laughs> hopefully oh, not. Uh, that was Agnes. Then it is Sunny. You wanted to pick yeah. up Cecil. Yeah, on fire again. This is starting to be something he doesn't want to keep repeating. Yeah, it might not be a good idea to pick her up as long as you're burning. Go. Yeah. No. You might be better served actually gauging now. Yeah, but then Charlie's going to throw the light bulb and we can't run away because no one's picked her up. Yeah, but I, th I mean... If you pick her up, she's going to die, though. Mm. You will, it's, it's you will literally burn crimson. her if you pick her up. Yeah. I think we're going to... I think... I think we'll have to change the plan. Do you want to spend a willpower point and do something else? Yeah, that's a temporary one, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm doing that. And then you're attacking? And then I kick him in the face because fuck him! Yes, F fuck him indeed. I think, I think he goes into something that sounds pretty, actually pretty, because he's swearing all he can in Portuguese. Yes. Go ahead and, um... Go ahead and roll. And that's Dex and Brawl, right? Yes, it is. It's Dexy Brawl. Dexy Brawl. Dexy Brawl. That is, yeah, like, that is a hit. Yeah. It's no extra successes, but it's a hit. No, it's not extra successes, and that might be because he's fucking on fire! <laughs> Again! Again. Go ahead and uh, roll a uh, damage roll. I'm starting to feel very sad for my World of Darkness characters. Why are they always on fire? <laughs> you, you shouldn't have kicked him. You should just have fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> Loving attack ever. I love you. <laughs> That's actually true. Keep putting him on fire too. This is actually true. 
I would be roasting all his meat. Ooh, uh, it's what strength, right? Yes. Okay. There you go. Two. Two? It's not all bad. And he doesn't soak the whole thing. Well, Sweet. suddenly the satyr kicked him in the face. He's yes. done that before. The satyr kicks him in the face. Not only does it connect, but you actually tear the rest of his armor off. Wow. You know, That's your your foot kick. your foot comes down over his chest and rips the rest of, of his fleshy armor away. You know what? I think I actually aim for his groin, but he, you know, put his hips behind and then he scraped off the thing off his chest. Yeah, that makes sense. So he's, he's out of armor. Fucking yeah. always setting me on fire, you asshole. And oh, next, next turn. Next turn is Charlie with the light bulb. Um. Yeah, we're all on fire. We're all on fire, and um, now isn't a good time to activate the bulb and bolt uh, tactic. Uh, I would <laughs> like to spend a point of willpower to uh, to change my action. Yes. What do you want to change it to? Um, I think I want to cast a, um, uh, what's it called? A cantrip. Yes. Yes. So I'll fire off, um, let your domain, uh, level one in snare. Ooh, good one. On who, on which one of them? Uh, I'm not feeling... Any kind of love for um, for um, for for Mr. Fleshy? No, right Mr. Fleshy is not your friend. But neither is Mrs. Dragon Wannabe. No, neither of them are your friends. But I understand why you want to get rid of the Fleshy one because he is definitely the one who's you know the the most affects it right now. Yes, we focus have fire. started ch chipping away. Yes, focus fire. And and in lack of firepower or explosives, I'll I'll just start by trying to pin him down with a loose uh, meat hook. All right. Falling, falling, <laughs> mysteriously from its place in the in the ceiling. Could right, I, right. Couldn't you have it pierce his eye just to spite him? Do mm. you uh, use a bunk? Something fantastic, you know? Do you do anything weird to to lower the difficulty? The best thing I can think of is trying to jump up and and uh, send a, a, a like a wave down the um, the pipe that the hooks are yeah. probably hanging. Sure, on. I'll give you I'll give you a, a single um, uh, you know I'll, I'll lower the difficulty by one for that, so the difficulty becomes seven. So it's. Three dice is for three dots in prop and one for the dot in arts, yes, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. <clears throat> one second. The um, the tablet technology isn't <laughs> That's fine. that advanced. You've joined us on a tablet? Yes. Two. That's fine. Determines the target to be slowed or stopped. And snare causes the target to move at half their speed and inflicts plus three difficulty on all physical actions for the duration. That is very, very nice. And that is one success. And that is one success. So for the next round, uh, Crimson moves at half speed and he is plus three to all physical um, difficulties. What? <laughs> Good going. <laughs> This is very useful. Who's Sputter? Gesundheit. Also. Gesundheit, indeed. And then it is Sir. Go, no. Sir! I think uh, Sir goes for the thing that Sonny couldn't hit. Go for the cry! Yep. So I split his dice pool, right? Yes. Yeah, he did. So he starts out by using his armor. That's the first thing. And then when everyone's turns are over, then he will have his second his second turn. Aww. Uh, right. But there's only yeah, Ganesha left. There's only Ganesha left, so... 
they can't do the same thing where they use temporary willpower to do stuff, is there? Nope. Me. Okay. Ganesha wants it to use a healing read. Yes, on Cecil. Yes. Go ahead and roll for it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure I've put in the, the points in this thing to, do, to actually do that, or I don't know how to do that. You need spring to S heal. Spring. But or maybe... Different from arts? Yeah, oh, yeah. right. Yeah, they are. Sorry, I know this is... Mm. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so how do we do this? I will look it up. Because obviously reeds are going... Uh, obviously reeds are going to be somewhere in here. Yep, reeds 320 to 323. There we go. Let's have a look at that. And it is healing, you said. Yes. And if I remember correctly, it should heal um, real and chimerical. Heal its own yeah, because of the another. word. If it has... The, it may even heal non-chimerical injuries if it also has the weird read. Does, Which it does because... Yes. Yeah. And what you do is you... It costs... Um, uh, uh, he has to use his um, his uh, glamour. Yep, he has six of those. So. Yes, so he can he can heal up to. Uh, he can use. Basically, he get he gives back one health level per um, uh, per uh, glamour that he spends. Uh, the thing is, he can only spend them one at a time, but he can use it, you know, he can do it consecutively. So he, he starts by healing her one health level. Okay, I'll take I'll take him down a point of, um, of temporary glamour then. Yes, and then he, he can continue to do so round after round after round, obviously. Okay, so how many health levels of damage is she at? This takes her down from seven to six. Yeah, she was incapacitated. Yeah, she was incapacitated. So now she's merely crippled. That's yes. wonderful. She's only at minus five to everything. Yes. Yes. Which that that technically means that she's a. But she's out of immediate danger of dying. Yes. Yay. This is quite important. Yes. It's maybe very can, important. Yes. Maybe can. Yes. Maybe Lip Ganesha and her can make their way out while we all fight off these creatures. Yes. And then it's Sir's turn with his final uh, action. And what does he want to do? He wanted to buy. He wanna. He's going for the groin. Yeah. He is see. the he is the right height for it. Yes. So he split it down so it's half. Yes. And to hit something that is dex and roll. Yes. There you go. That's actually no successes. Oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> the one cancels out the hit. Maybe because of the chains, I don't know. Possibly. He misses, at least. <clears throat> and that means that it's a new round. So we have to roll again. Yep, we roll initiative once more. <clears throat> Holy damn. Plus eight, that's still good. Yeah, yeah, but nine at a plus eight. God damn it. Wow. Six. What is it with all those ones? <coughs> <coughs> it's quite a serious cough you've got there. Yeah, it's nothing now. You should have heard it a week ago. That's because he wants to be a Pokemon. I don't want to be a Pokemon. But he has evolved from coughing to wheezing. Ah! 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 Ah!
more on the good side than on the bad side, then it's all good. I had one horrible pun and two good ones. Uh, Charlie, yours was 15, right? Right. Charlie means business. And what was Ganesha's? Seven. And he's doing another healing read, okay. Yes. The, the, the healthier she still can be, the more likely she's able to get to the door quicker. This is true. And the less chance of dying she has. All right. Yes. Let us do this in reverse order then. Jasmine, what do you want to do? Uh, I think more sorting is needed. Remember, we are on fire. Yeah, but we only take uh, damage on uh, Crimson. Yeah, well, you Crimson's take turn. yeah you take turn uh, you take damage on Crimson's turn. Oh, I thought it was the beginning of the turn. Nope, no, no, on his turn. Well, I'm okay. Well, I'm committed <laughs> now, and I've got people all around me trying to take Crimson down as well. So I might as well keep wailing on him with my my sharpened stick metal pipe. There we go. Uh, what is Agnes's modifier? Six. So you're before Sunny. There we go. There we go. <laughs> You've just put murder crimson. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Um, we are doing reverse order. So Jasmine, you are doing what? As I say, I'm just attacking crimson. Okay. Uh, Ganesh is doing another healing read, so that's. And what does crimson do? He uses another power. Stop it with the powers! Come on! Sunny has already Cat said that you're going to murder Crimson. Agnes, what do you do? Yes. Um... Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Uh, I think she's actually going to use August's suggestion of, like, trying to set him on fire as well. So you want to try to grab... Crimson and try to set him on fire. Yeah, because like she's kind of nimble, so that would yeah. make sense if she would try to do that. Sir wants to bite. Jonas wants to do what? Shoot Crimson. I'm standing the wrong place in the initiative. Why? I only got nine. All right. Uh, 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 but it says fourteen. Yeah, that's it's because it hasn't been edited. Oh yes. Well, you're probably before Sir because his uh, modifier is two. Yeah, minus eight. Yeah, you're you're before <laughs> Sir. So August, what do you want to do? Um, I'll go melee with the knife on Crimson. I think we're all so. focusing on Crimson quite a lot. That's because we're smart. Take them one at a time. Yes, that is smart. It is, yeah. Okay. What does Alice want to do? Alice got quiet. Yep, I I'm... Uh... I don't like it when Alice is quiet. She splits her actions and starts by using a power. Boo her! On the upside, that means she also cuts down her... Dice pool, so I'm okay with that. <coughs> there. Charlie? <coughs> what do you want to do? Um... I'll fire off another ledger domain. Okay. On who? On... My uh, roll 20 keeps uh, failing me. Ooh, now you've caught Crimson. Maybe you could catch Alice. Yeah, but Crimson has only caught this one round. Yeah, yes, uh... but Alice isn't. So if he can stop her too. Yeah, that's true. I'll fire it off at Alice. Okay. Um, new, new and exciting work. Sorry, that's what? Later. Sorry. No, that's fine. New and exciting something. Yeah, that that's for, for the bunk. Oh right, yes. Well, it's your turn now, so you yeah, know. it is. It's your turn. I'll pick off, pick up a uh, a meat hook, 
and um, throw it at her as a boomerang. As a boomerang, <laughs> see if it comes back at you. I kind of like of that. Of course, idea. making of course making the um, the um, the sound. Yes, of course. Again, I'll lower it by one for that. You can do it. Go, Charlie. Oh, no! damn. That's no. actually a botch. Uh-oh. That's no successes and a one, so that's a botch. Meet her to the eye. No, it just means that your your um, ledger domain fails you and you can't use it for the rest of the encounter. Uh, uh, oh, I love that sound. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that is Chris's bearing just, sound. I'll just... Yeah. I'll just start walking out now. <laughs> Alice uses <laughs> Alice uses a power, um, and I need to roll for that, obviously. I just imagine Charlie doing that. Oh, that was embarrassing. Don't look at me. <laughs> More like, oh, well, that's the last trick I can do. Bye. Can oh, just, yeah. heavens to Betsy. Okay. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Six successes. She seriously have 18? Oh my god. No, I eight. I don't want to play with her. Yeah, no. but it all, when you split your thing, you split the dice pool. Oh, that's right. Sorry. So I you totally take the forgot. highest dice pool you have, and then you split it down yes, the middle. Yes, that's true. <coughs> it's the highest dice pool, and you split it down the middle. Well, you choose yourself, but it would be stupid taking the No, load, no, right? no, you're absolutely right. I've totally forgotten. That, that's why you do the, well, now you only have two, or three. So if the dice pool is seven, then you have four to one and three to the other. That's more like it. <laughs> one, two, three, six. Yes. She can't count. Nope, she really can't. All right. And that means that her use of a power actually fails her. It doesn't, mm. uh, she doesn't... Um, um, uh, uh, botch it uh, because what she does is she she does like she's um, she does it's almost like watching one of those old uh, Roadrunner cartoons uh, where she where she runs in place and her feet begin to move incredibly swiftly <laughs> um, but she still fails to activate the power so she tried to run away or get quicker or something like that because yes, that's a Wayfarer bunk and then it is Jonah's turn. Yes. yes, I should like to shoot Crimson. Yes, you should. Please kill him with this shot. His arm is gone. Uh, and I take a minus one penalty for being hurt. That's just one dice less, right? Uh, yes, that's yeah, minus you, one. Yeah, if, you're at, at, if, if the level you're at now says minus one, then that's... On the upside, it doesn't go one further down before we actually get to Crimson. Let me just check to make sure. <coughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, that's you hit. Ten. You hit. And, and it's six damage with the bow. Yeah, it's six damage with the bow. So Soak that, that, you bitch. Please don't. Yeah, actually, please don't. Right? He does. Yeah, he does. All he four, takes yeah, four, he of them. four of them. That's still two damage. I think he's starting to hurt, guys. He is down to seven, so he keels over. Oh, phew. Oh, good. And he, you, he changes before your eyes. <coughs> because what you just did is you killed him chimerically. Oh, oh you, oh, murdered the, you murdered the... You murdered him you, in... You murdered the fey part of him. Not the, the living part of him. Not the, the human part of him. Oh, good! But, but that, that way he can still come back, right? It's not a permanent death. Exactly, he can come. It's, but it's if, if he's problematic. Safe, sure. It's it's not easy, <laughs> but he can come back. However, it also means you haven't just committed murder. Yay. Yeah. Well, he's incapacitated. So basically, if he survives it, he's human. Yes, if so he doesn't, well, he's already in a slaughterhouse. So you yes. know. Yes, he, this man can go on to lead a legitimate and fruitful life in society. If Alice doesn't need him, but you know. Well, let's, let's, let's that not was that. So, August, you want to change and maybe attack Alice instead? Might be a good idea. Okay. Speaking of Alice, does she react in any way at all? 
uh, when he goes um, down. Yeah. She doesn't look happy. But she never does. Come on. <laughs> does that cost me a willpower? Yeah. Temporary willpower to change. Actually, when my when opponent he, goes down. When he does that, when he goes down like that, she grins, which looks horrible. Hmm. And she says, "Oh, I think I surrender to uh, to be taken in for for uh, for judgment." Oh, oh what? Dear. Well, it's still August turn first. <coughs> yep. Oh, she just you know she just speaks. You can speak out of turn. Mm -hmm. Put down your weapons, then. Does she have any? No. August, do the honorable thing. Cut off her head. <laughs> Basically, what when you asked her to put down her weapons, did you just ask her to pull out her teeth? <laughs> that would be hard. Get down on the floor with your hands on the back, on your back, then. Sure. Yeah, that's not gonna stop Sunny from kicking her in the face. I mean, that's that's kind of point. She has surrendered. I think by by very courtly standards, we can't actually that... honorably continue to fight her. That doesn't change the fact that there's a very, very, very angry satyr whose temper has run off with him. Okay, so someone needs to stop Sunny then. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we need to. Um, but actually, you know what? We'll leave the 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 thing here, the uh, the combat uh, order, and I'll make a note to say that it's uh, August's turn when we get back. Because we need to stop by now. It's uh, the, it's time. Yes. Uh, it's a good so place to so stop. We, it's it's a very good place to stop actually, where she has just surrendered, and you have some time over the week to consider what you're going to do. Kill her. No. no. I mean, Let the bickering commence. Let the bickering yeah. commence, indeed. It's very important bickering because here's the thing. Actually, no. We'll talk about it after we finish recording. Yes. So it's it's, uh, it's three XP for each of you guys. Ooh. Ooh. Yay! Up to 12! That's Keep nice. Out. There you go. And um, for you, ladies and gentlemen of the listening audience, um, thank you for listening in to this week's episode of um, Copenhagen Dreaming, and we do, in fact, hope to see you back next week for more of this campaign. So, from all of us here, bye! 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 bye. 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 bye.